Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith of Real Talk Movie Reviews. Today I've got a real treat for you folks. Colin O'Malley's Woman in Motion, a score for this new documentary. Full of heart, crisp recordings, great use of reverb, and just an inspired listen emotionally. Colin O'Malley's Woman in Motion moved me to tears. In the track Meeting MLK, I became misty-eyed, which rarely, if ever, happens when listening to modern movie music. O'Malley first took me by surprise when I heard his music for the Superman Returns video game. Astonishing work there. Indeed, throughout Woman in Motion, he's branching out and creating many fascinating ideas. And even when he's exploring more of the electronic Vangelis side of his work, he brings fascinating innovations and creativity to the fore. This is really music that I would say doesn't fall under the umbrella of Star Trek nostalgia. It's beyond that. It's an emotional experience which touches your heart and fills you with the kind of wonder and surprise that you really hope to hear so often I read reviews of, of scores that are five stars, glowing, I listen to the music and there's something missing. But musical taste is subjective and it's important to remember that what may move me may not move someone else and vice versa. But when it comes to Colin O'Malley I can feel in his fanfares, in his themes, leitmotifs and the little secondary ideas which sprinkle out of that that he's an extremely talented and creative individual. I loved the two times that I've listened to Woman in Motion and I know that I'm going to be listening to it a great many more. This is a fantastic score, stunning detail in every area. It feels like a score that was in, across the ages we get a little bit of 80s electronica which as I say never feels out of place because well you can remember the Star Trek movies that were made during the 80s and some people do believe Star Trek 2 Wrath of Khan was the best Star Trek movie. I differ in that opinion, I have other favourites but it still puts you in that mindset and also the, the orchestra and the choirs are very very good here recorded crisply not a note or a phrase that feels off in any part of it. I love this score. Now, it's an interesting trend in 2021 in that so far the scores that I have scored very highly, I was kind of on the fence whether to give it four out of five stars or five out of five stars. Well, I can say Woman in Motion by Colin O'Malley deserves every one of its five stars in this rating that I'm going to give it. I give it five out of five stars. Could be my favourite score of the year. It's still only March, but we'll see. This is a very exciting year already, and I can't wait to see what the remaining months bring us in terms of music for documentaries and motion pictures. This week's mini review Raya and the Last Dragon by James Newton Howard. Emotionally dull, creatively stagnant, and amorphous thematically, all the cliches of rock, orchestral, ambient scoring are present and accounted for. As one track title suggests, this music is definitely running on raindrops. Obnoxiously loud, Deviations in tone? Check. Distracting percussive and quiral elements? Check again. Under the COVID lockdown measures currently in place at the time of this video, some might cherish the idea that Howard has a new score out. Personally, I'd rather spin his superior work on Outbreak and Smile. I give Raya and the Last Dragon one out of five stars. For more film and soundtrack reviews, 
please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. You can also find me on Twitter at mbeanfan101. I am Richard Jack Smith. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.